Caram's garage. He's going to start in the 21st position here in the 101st run of the Indy 500. My colleague here, Derek Daly, big fan of yours, and he spoke so highly about you this week. He feels good about your chances here today. Give me your take as you get ready for this race today. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, fourth time coming in here, so this is probably the most confident dash calm I've been uh, for the month of May and on a race day in general. Um, I'm feeling really good. Uh, car's been good in race trim. Uh, qualified uh, where we thought we'd qualify. Uh, we actually thought we were going to qualify 25th, so 21st is actually a better day than what we expected. So uh, happy with qualifying, how that went, being a one car, you know, single race team. And um, yeah, I mean, we just we have a good race car, so I think we can uh, just pick our way through. We got to be smart out there and make it to the end. And I, I know, Sage, you're not brash in any way at all. If we just take a little look yeah, at these look at babies down here, can you imagine those now walking around the paddock? They will not be in the race car, I promise you. But Sage, I know you you have to have a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got we got to ask you about these shoes here, man. Those are sweet. Tell us about them. Yeah, they're uh, they're just Jordans, uh, but they're like a little flashy. So I, I had them for like a year or so when they first came out, and. Uh, I just said I'm just going to buy them for race day for the Indy 500 because you really can't wear them any other day, I feel like. It's like the only day you can really pull them off. So, uh, yeah, that's basically why I got them for this day in general. Okay, but hang on. Let's just show you another little bit here. What about these babies? Yeah, so these are my, my race shoes, which are pretty cool as well. I, I like shoes. I'm a big shoe guy, so I always like to be uh, a bit flashy when it comes to that. And uh, I got these custom made for the for the race today. So well, talking of flashy, you were flashy last year in the race. So so fast. Um, I mean, went from where you started almost to the front. Can you do the same again? This car and this team, even though it's a one-off, always produces a really fast package. Yeah, I think we can. Um, it's weird. From last year, it seems like a lot of people have. Are, start, are struggling a little bit more than, than, than last year, and I just think we're struggling less than, than everybody else is. Um, so I'm feeling really good. I think the car right now is probably better than it was last year as far as to my competition. Um, and if that's the case, then I think we should be okay getting to the front. Um, I just got to stay calm. I get really anxious and, <laughs> and behind the wheel when you see the front of the Indianapolis 500, obviously. So um, as long as I can stay anxious and just remember where I am on what lap I am, uh, what, what lap I'm on, um, you know, I think I'll be okay. You were telling us, we were talking about the weather because we know it could be a little dicey this afternoon, but you were like this, hey, look, we know it's 101 laps. You got a complete race there, but you want to go the 500 miles. I think you ask any driver, you know, they want to go the whole 500 miles. I think even if you win the race at lap 101, it's great. You know, you're officially an Indy 500 champion, but, you know, it's a little asterisk, and you want to be able to, you know, say, you, you know, you won the Indianapolis 500, and ran under green, you know, no rain, nothing like that. So, um, yeah, no, I think everybody wants to be able to, to run the uh, whole 500 miles. I'm sure the fans want that as well. We want a good day. We want a nice uh, weather day. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. Interesting. He grew up in a racing neighborhood. He lived across the road from Michael Andretti, how about which that? is how he got to understand what racing is all about. I mean, do you remember growing up as a kid with this hero living across the street? Well, yeah, basically uh, my whole childhood was spent at their house. Uh, my, <laughs> my dad was um, Michael Andretti's fitness trainer, and um, basically, like, they became best friends. So me, you know, living up, uh, basically living up there my whole childhood, and uh, that's how I got into racing. Okay, before we wrap things up, this has been buzzing throughout the week because our Megan McEwen did a story here on Sage, and his right here, look at this, the tattoo, and tell the folks at home about that and why you decided to do that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's the, obviously the wings and the wheel for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway logo. Um, I got it because this is my obsession, this race, and I want to win this more than anything in my life. And uh, I just wanted to wake up every morning and just be able to see it and uh, say, how am I going to better myself today, uh, you know, to win this race. So. And Dad was not a big fan right now, right? <laughs> I got kicked out of the house for three days. <laughs> three days? How about that? But if you can get the milk today, Things may be changing, right? He said if uh, I win, the whole family will get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sage, great seeing you. Good luck to you today. That's Sage Karam. He's going to start in the 21st position here today for the Indianapolis 500. We're going to take a timeout. We've got more live coverage here on.